Here we go. So, uh, this is the Blade Master fight, and I just, uh, you can see his red swords right here. I just killed him faster than I ever thought possible. And I'll show you how you do it. Come up here. Your fight's gonna start about. Right about here is where that little uh, hologram thing is, and then he's gonna start right behind those sandbags there. As you can see here, I brought in one of the little mini guns from the previous fights. Pick this thing up, because you can't start the thing and have it in your hands, but you're gonna leave it like over here. Pick this thing up and make a beeline for this hole here. Come down the hole. There's the stairs I just went up right there. <clears throat> Get on top of this thing. His charge attacks, if you stand too close, like about here, where I'm, uh, about right here, he'll hit you double twice. But if you back up just enough, like this much, he can't move at that point. So then he's going to be forced to come over to this side, or he's going to be forced to go to the left side, or he'll do his disappearing thing. But you'll be at, like, you'll be missing your shields, and you'll be alive. But as he comes around, obviously retreat back to this side. And then he can maybe hit you once, but if you're this far enough, you'll completely disrupt him. Standing on top of these sandbags basically stops him from getting the double swings that he needs to kill you. The second thing, this is where you're going to have to drop your gun. That thing right there. I've seen that in the other tutorials where it pulses, and it actually breaks up. He'll be like over there where I'm shooting, and it hits, he gets hit by that, and it breaks up his stealth or his invisibility. From there, you can... He'll come at you, back up a little bit so that you can get him to one side. Just unload on him. It's unbelievable how fast that went. And I did like 50 times before I figured this out. So, I wish I had him up to show you and repeat it again, but there's the sword for proof if you don't believe me. So try that, that should get him down fast, that way you're not dying 50 times in a row. Other than that, uh, yeah, this is just great for stopping him from meleeing you, because he's just going to play, run around, disappear, then you'll hear him come back, and then he'll tr you just repeat the whole run around again if you don't have the minigun with you to make it easy. Peace.